No other profession calls upon its practitioners to lay down their lives for their art, save the armed forces, and in Sri Lanka, journalists. Those words are, quote, taken from uh, the last published article by Lasanta Vikramatunga, whom we are honoring today. And on that note, I'd like to say good afternoon and welcome to the Lasanta Vikramatunga Memorial Lecture in support of press freedom and human rights. On behalf of uh, Sri Lankan Dub Borders, uh, myself, I'm Purnima, I'm a board member with SLWB and uh, the South Asian Journalist Association. I'd like to say thank you to everyone for making it out on this rainy afternoon. We do appreciate your attendance today. I um, also just want to say a thank you to our partners, um, the Canadian Journalists for Free Expression, Journalists for Human Rights, the Free Media Movement in Sri Lanka, um, as well as Penn Canada. We definitely had a fantastic discussion ahead of us this afternoon, uh, but before I get to that, I do want to go over our code of conduct for this afternoon. The organizers of this event are dedicated to providing a harassment-free experience for everyone regardless of gender, uh, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, race or religion. We do not tolerate um, harassment of participants in any form. Discriminatory language and imagery is not appropriate for any conference venue and participants uh, violating these rules may be sanctioned or expelled uh, from the conference at the discretion of the organizers. I just want to also let everyone know there will be an opportunity to engage with the panelists later on. Um, of course, we do have mics, two mics up as well, uh, but please wait until you have the opportunity to engage with them um, to save your comments. Um, also, only accredited media is allowed to take photos or videos today. I'm uh, now going to hand it over to one of our volunteers for the evening, uh, Kumran Nadeesan, uh, and he's going to just give us some introductory remarks. Thank you. Bonjour, uh, Ms. Me, Vanakam, Assalamu Alaikum, I won, and welcome to the Lasanta Vikramathanga Memorial Lecture. My name is Kumaran Nadesan and I'm a former board member of uh, Sri Lanka's Without Borders and one of a number of people uh, behind this particular event. Uh, before I begin, I must pinch myself uh, to make sure this is actually happening because it almost didn't, I think, even as uh, late as a couple of days ago. So it really, uh, uh, it's really a great thing that all of you were able to make it out today and be here. Um, to start things off, I do want to thank each and every one of you uh, for being here. Uh, these events are not easy things to organize or engage in. Um, I think it, it goes without saying that each one of you may have had better things to do this afternoon. Uh, people that you love, that you can spend time with, uh, maybe some of you could have made more money, uh, but, uh, but you decided to engage uh, in a way that is meaningful, thoughtful and, and critical as well of what is happening in Sri Lanka, but also what it means for us as the diaspora community in Canada. Um, it, it is, I think, uh, that common uh, purpose or, or aspiration, I guess, that draws us all together. Um, and despite the ideologies and differences that we may have, it is that common aspiration that brought us here today. And, and we hope that we can build up on that foundation, uh, both in the discussions as well as in, in the remarks from our special speakers here today. So I. I respectfully ask you to respectfully engage in all the discussions. Um, that, uh, before I go on, I think uh, given the day that it is today, September 21st, it would be remiss of me to not mention the fact that there is a very important event going on in Sri Lanka. The, the polls for the Northern Provincial Council elections have closed. Uh, what it means for the people in North Sri Lanka, we will find out. Um, it has not been entirely uh, fair or free elections as we well know. We know that a political party activist uh, was injured and uh, was killed in fact, um, and a candidate's house was broken into and she was held at knife point. Uh, no, she was broken in, uh, the house was broken into. So, I mean, there are uh, issues there, but it is also important to know that these elections mean uh, a great deal for the people uh, in the north of Sri Lanka and a, a vote is a voice and, and we'll find out soon enough uh, just uh, how loudly and what changes uh, the people in North Sri Lanka want from their government. Um, uh, these, my notes, my blackberry just crashed, so I'm going to wing it for the rest of the uh, rest of the speech. Okay then. <laughs> um, 
So uh, these open remarks are usually very sort of self-congratulatory, you know, how we are great and all of this, but I would like to begin with apologies. So we are deeply sorry to our friends in the Tamil community who felt that we did not consult with them adequately in the programming of this event. There are many Tamil journalists who would have been just as well to be named after this lecture. Um, what we do want to tell our Tamil friends is that La Santa, at the end of the day, for this particular event in this space, is a symbol. He's a symbol for us to have the kind of conversation we want to have today. So it is not meant to deny uh, the experiences both lived and imagined, well, mostly lived, by Tamil journalists in Sri Lanka and abroad, but, but I hope that you understand that this is about having a symbol to begin the conversation between our various communities. We would like to apologize to our friends in the Sinhalese community. Those of you who felt that this event was anti-government of Sri Lanka or anti-Sri Lanka itself, this is neither. We call ourselves Sri Lankans Without Borders for a very specific reason. It is because we care about what is happening in Sri Lanka that we do the kind of work that we do. Uh, it is not the perfect event for sure. So we apologize if you feel that way. We are happy that a lot of you are here willing to engage and willing to listen to what we have to say. Above all else, even more so perhaps than the Tamil and Sinhalese community, uh, apologies to the Muslim, uh, to our Muslim friends. Uh, they, there is no apology for this, there is no excuse. Uh, there is always uh, challenges in making sure that the Muslim perspective is heard at these events. And, and, we, and we deeply recognize that that perspective is critical to all the discussions that we take place. We've done uh, as much as we can, more needs to be done, but I want to recognize that uh, our Muslim friends, we, we, we share in your memories of, 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 of the people, of the brave people in your community who helped out as well. Thank you so much. Um, moving on, I'm here to just present, uh, the rest of the notes I've pretty much forgotten, so I'm just gonna get to it. Uh, uh, I'd like to present the first item for today's event, um, and it's to do with two things. One with, uh, with uh, Sunila Abhisekara. Uh, it's a tribute to Sunila Abhisekara, and, and using her tribute, we want to also recognize some journalists who've spent a lot of time in Sri Lanka and gave their lives for what they believed in. So, Sunil Abhay Sekara, I'm ashamed to say, is not somebody that I knew at all. Um, her name, I think I've gotten to know her more since her death. Um, and thanks especially to Sanjana's uh, uh, you know, uh, remarkable tribute to her on Ground Views, as well as tributes by other people. And we were able to get, a, get an understanding of the kind of person she was. And, 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 her story, and in her life and in her story, we found inspiration to do this particular event. So uh, the context for what you're going to see is this. Um, there is, it is a recording that you may have heard already on Ground News uh, that Sanjana published. It's a recording.